WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I posted the chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, a daily chart going back over the last year or so, actually the last two years, and you can see we are focusing on those two little triangles there, excuse me, rectangles, where we have the ABCD patterns lined up. It came in at 43,003 in the Dow Jones futures, uh, and that was the um, high so far. We're down a little bit from that level, but nothing really spectacular. You know, the first three days uh, of the month, we've had so much information coming on with the, not only the election stuff, but the fighting in Lebanon, the fighting in Israel, and other places. Uh, it's just been a lot of things happening. What I try to do in the videos each day is to update you from a technician standpoint of things to watch for, and that was some of the things that we were watching for today, especially in crude oil, which I'll share with you when we come up uh, to the next break. But just remember, folks, these are very, very important patterns. Uh, they don't happen very often like this, where you have this beautiful uh, three drive to a top pattern. You can see there's drive one, drive two, drive three, and uh, it's right in the same context, just like we did here, drive one, drive two, drive three, and then it's over. Now, we didn't make a new high in the NASDAQ. We didn't make a new high uh, in the Russell, but we did in the S&P, and we did it in the Dow Jones uh, Industrial uh, Average. So that's why it's very important. Now, if we get a move something like this, uh, people have asked me, are we still in a crash scenario, folks? I don't even try to think that way because the number of times you see a crash is about once every 30, 40, 50 years. And uh, I'm not going to be here for the next one. I was here for the last one back in 87, but I won't be here for the next one. So I don't know if this is going to be a crash or not. I don't really care. I trade the shorter term patterns because I'm risk averse. I try to keep my losses as small as possible. Sometimes I don't succeed the way I do, but other times I do. So that's pretty much it. Our guest today uh, coming up in the break in about uh, at the half hour will be Jeff Huge. Uh, oh, messed that one up of Alpha Insights. And uh, he'll, he will be, I guess, he's always got some great things on the, you know, what the market's doing on a technical basis. So that'll be fun to watch uh, also. But I do, I do have a few things on the trades that we have on. We are we're still short. All right, we've got to take a break. We'll be right back. 